attention. So um, first thing we need to do is talk about what exactly is an identity, all right? And so far, um, a lot of what you guys have been talking about in math class is what we call kind of like our conditional statements. If we have you know, 3x equals 6, all right? And we said, OK, go ahead and solve this. So you go and use the division property of equality, and you'd say x equals 2. Well, what that conditional statement says is that equation is true when or if x equals 2, right? If the equation is true, then x equals 2. There's our conditional, conditional statement that it says this equation, this original equation, 3x plus equals 6, is only true when our value of x is equal to 2. Right? There's one solution with that. Does everyone remember that? OK. Now, when you guys, when we started talking about actually systems of equations, you guys kind of got brought up into what exactly an identity was. Let me just say, what about if I had x plus 1 equals x plus 1? And a lot of times this came up when you guys did systems of equations. But if I was to solve for this, I would get x equals x. Right? This is what we call an identity. The reason why it's an identity is you can see, like, it equals itself, correct? And the important thing about an identity is whatever is on the left side always equals whatever is on the right side, no matter what the value is. This identity is true for when x equals 2. It's true when x equals negative 100. And it's true when x equals pi, right? It equals itself, all right? So a lot of what we're going to be learning is identities, meaning no matter what the value is, the left and the right side are going to be equal, all right? So that is an idea.